Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. In today's video I'm going to be doing a watercolor and ink illustration and I'm really excited to take you guys along. I'm going to be using this brand new watercolor sketchbook that I got from Ross. I think it was only $3.99 so I'll let you guys know if I think it's worth buying. I'm just going to be using the Royal and Lane Nicole Essentials watercolor paints. I used to use um, just this basic palette from Michael's. I think it was around six dollars. Yeah, it's just you know, like it looks like a kid's watercolor palette, and I've used it a lot. I've had this for a few years now, and I've recently, well, I would say not recently, over the past couple of years, I've picked up watercolor and ink illustrations a lot more. So that's what I wanted to try. Two watercolors. I feel like the paint is a lot more pigmented and it's thicker and better quality. So that's what today's video is mainly going to be about. Just playing around with some colors, just messing around with some illustrations and seeing what happens because it's all about experimenting and I thought why not share that with you. I'm still deciding if I should cut this because I wouldn't know what to sketch out really big. So I've just finished sketching this cute little bunny and now I'm going to get my color palette in order and which colors that I think I'm going to be using. I also forgot to mention that I got this watercolor palette, um, I believe that's what it's called, from Daiso, which is the Japanese dollar store, and I actually picked it up for about, I think it was $4 when I was in Texas, because unfortunately they only have them in Texas, in California, in the United States, that I know of. Actually, I think there's actually one in Queens in the city, um, New York, but I've never been to that one. But um, I was there and I saw it and I wanted to go and I did pick up some other art supplies but I thought that the watercolor palette would be nice as it can save my paint so that it doesn't dry out and go to waste like I've been doing on other pieces of um, thick paper that I use sometimes when I use watercolors. So I'm hoping that this actually works and will save me paint and hopefully I can just spray it with more water and yeah, that'll save me some money and some of my paint, so that'd be great. So whenever I start off with watercolor, I like to start off with a little bit of paint at a time, and I like to use a lot more water, that way I can build on layers afterwards. I don't, I've kind of learned that just putting on a bunch of color at first doesn't always work out best for me. So this is just what I do, and I find that it makes it really, really easy 
to layer on different colors and my paintings and illustrations just look better in the end and that's just my opinion i again am not an expert in watercolor it's just a medium that i really enjoy using and i love the look that it can create so definitely use your paints sparingly <laughs> And use a lot of water and just play around with it see how the color comes out see what it looks like when it dries because it does dry differently and then you can go on and just continue to layer more and more color and that's just what I'm going to be doing to the bunny and trying to add some shadows here and there I didn't want it to be too dark because the photo of the bunny was really light and I wanted to keep it that way as well For the bunny's body, I really wanted to keep to those natural colors, so I'm just flipping between the burnt umber and the brighter orange color and using a lot of the, not a lot, a little bit of black to really create some different shades of those same colors. And I'm really liking how the colors are coming out as I continue to layer them. So for this part, just play around with your colors, add more water to create a lighter color that will be easier to layer, or you can use less water for a very bright and pigmented color. I've been doing both in different sections because I'm honestly just experimenting, seeing what I like and what I don't like. But I feel like watercolor is a very forgiving medium. If you feel like you've quote unquote messed up or place paint somewhere you don't want it, that's okay. Just add some more water to the spot where you've placed that paint and use the edge of a paper towel to soak it right up. But be careful when doing this and you only want to use a couple of drops of water. You don't want to, you know, pour a whole cup of water on your page or anything. But yeah. I just wanted to comment really quickly and say that I am loving this watercolor paper. It's so thick, it's so textured, and the watercolor paper, it's just, the paint is taking so nicely to it. It just, I really love it, and I'm so surprised because of how cheap it was. I'm pretty sure, now that I look at it, it's actually $2.99, and this was at Ross. I'm gonna go back, and if I see them again, I'm grabbing a few different ones because I think that it's just amazing for the price and for having such good quality paper. 
So I just want to let you guys know that I do think it's worth checking out and I'll try to keep my eyes open for even more affordable products and I'll let you guys know. I'm going to put the name of the sketchbook in the description as well as where I got it from if you guys want to check and see if it's at a store located near you. But all that info will definitely be in the description box. Just make sure to go and check and see if they have it. have it I've pretty much just layered and layered on watercolor and I'm really satisfied with the look of it sometimes it's kind of 50 50 for me sometimes I'll love the way a painting comes out with watercolor or I'll hate it and I'll have to try again but I'm really happy that it turned out well and now I'm just going to go over it some do some detail and some sketching with my ink pens and these are ones that I just got from Michaels, but they sell them everywhere. Like at every art store has simple ink pens. There's actually a pack of, I think 15 or less at five and below for about $5. And they're pretty good quality. I mean, they're just, if you're just sketching away, I think they're really good to use since I use my pens a lot. So they run out of ink. I run out of ink very quickly so I always just have a bunch on hand and if I see them for cheap I'll grab them to try them out and for the most part they work pretty well but you do have to be careful make sure that if your ink pens are not waterproof that you ink last because I have learned that the hard way and that happens a lot with the cheaper ones that they are not waterproof and they do bleed when you put watercolor and the water onto the paper and that has ruined a couple of illustrations for me and i've been <laughs> very annoyed so just make sure when you're looking at ink pens that you know it does say that you can use them with water or whatever and it won't bleed back to the illustration i'm just outlining the entire thing throwing some sketches here and there some rough lines a little bit of cross hatching in certain places just to give it a more rough look and for me, personally, that's just how I enjoy my illustrations to look. I'm very inspired by older illustrations like um, the Winnie the Pooh illustrations and ones that you would see in older picture books from like 50 years ago or maybe even before that. I just really love the art. It seems very timeless and Alice in Wonderland has a lot of illustrations that are like that as well and that's just the look that I'm trying to achieve. You don't have to do it if you want to but I just think it really brings it together. But there you have it. There is my simple watercolor and ink illustration of a bunny and if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this let me know and even comment down in the comment section what kind of animals you'd like to see or what kind of painting videos you guys would like to see or art supply hauls you'd like to see me do. 
but I'd love to hear back from you guys and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Take care.